From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Health teams hitting the ground in Andros, the Barry Islands, and Cat Island trying to determine what has triggered a recent increase in positive coronavirus cases on those islands, including 17 in one day in Cat Island. Those islands now under increased curfew hours announced by Prime Minister Minnis yesterday. Curfew kicks in at 8 p.m., ends at 5 a.m. for now. And the Prime Minister says depending on what those health officials find, there could be additional restrictions coming for those islands. Vaccination teams also headed to those islands. Overall, vaccine hesitancy continues to be a major problem. Health Minister Wells revealing this in the House yesterday. Among all health care workers, some 2,626 persons of some 5,771 or 45.5 percent have been vaccinated. Only about 15 percent of the uniform branches have taken the shot so far. The vaccine committee working to get more people vaccinated. Concerning corona-related numbers revealed in the House yesterday by Minister Wells also, an increase in cases in young people and our positivity rate is too high, around 15 percent, he says. The internationally accepted standard for control is around 5 percent. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Police continue to work that government high school stabbing case. They're looking for at least two students they want to question in connection with the fatal stabbing of 15-year-old Ken Paul and the wounding of another student who continues to recover. The Free National Movement has ratified two more candidates for the next elections, including Maxine Seymour for Seabreeze, which means that former sports minister Lanisha Roll is out. Quentin Presenti has been ratified for Angliston also. Those 700 persons let go by the Atlantis Resort will get their severance packages, but not all at once, in three payments instead. Opposition leader Davis is among those who wishes this could be different. It's perhaps more cruel not to be giving them their money all at once. Uh, we understand the, the situation with, with what's going on in the economy, but at the very least, um, it just didn't have to be done this way. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight accurate weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Mostly cloudy tonight, windy, but winds decreasing. Overnight lows from the low to upper 70s. 70 at Freeport, 73 in the capital, 76 at Matthew Town. Marine advisory still in place into the nighttime hours. Winds gusting to 20 knots, the seas up to 6 feet over open waters. The next time is a low around 10 this evening. Friday's forecast, some clouds, some sun, still windy. Highs in the low to mid-80s. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, PPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Selling a car, lot, home, or computer? Call us today. The Tribune Classified Trader. 502-2351. Your number one source for buying and selling items in the Bahamas. If you really want to sell your personal items, then the Tribune Classified is the answer. Pick up a copy Monday through Saturday in the Bahamas' leading newspaper, the Tribune, the people's newspaper. World News headlines. Firefighters in Greece continue to battle a forest fire that continues to spread and has forced the evacuation of several villages in its path. Officials have reported no casualties so far from the fire. The WHO Europe has released a statement saying that the data shows that current coronavirus vaccines on the market appear to be effective against variants of the disease. The U.S. and China exchanging jabs over naval activity by both sides in the South China Sea. Sports notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section on TV. There is soccer, always soccer, Major League Baseball and the NBA playoffs. Jazz on the Marlins in Philadelphia again tonight, wrapping up a three-game series there. John Quill Jones and the Connecticut Sun won last night. They are 3-0 and off tonight. Next up tomorrow night in Phoenix. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports Section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. 
Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.